Good morning, folks. We're starting with the latest NASA animation. Comet sighting spring comes to Mars in just 17 days, a once-in-a-lifetime event. A link to this animation and a succinct introduction can be found right below this video. Top quakes of the day hit the mid-Atlantic ridge and returned to Iceland. Meanwhile, we had a minor swarm developing in Central America, an Earth spot uptick as new storm Simon was finally named and strengthens in the eastern Pacific. Croatia also had their largest earthquake in nine months. Top space weather news is plasma penetration this morning. Our magnetosphere is calm and perhaps got caught snoozing as solar wind particles snuck past it and began striking the upper atmosphere. Dense readings there on the telemetry. Earth also took a gamma ray burst just three hours before the penetration began from way south in the Carina constellation. Solar flaring continued its decline and this is likely due to the central sunspot decay. They are smaller and lacking magnetic complexity. And while the big ones depart on the west, the incoming limb does not appear capable of making up for it. The coronal fields are somewhat pinched. Near-Earth influence has switched back to positive, but the opening's effect will be minor and somewhat short-lived. This is surprising because the northern coronal hole does appear quite prevalent when looking in 211 angstroms. You can also see the trailing eastern edge of the big departing plasma filament begin to break and destabilize. This filament is well off center disk at this point, spanning more than 100,000 miles long, and it is finally beginning to twitch as it heads for the backside of our star. Let's step back a bit. You remember that landslide we mentioned in India? Now this is a few weeks old at this point, but we still thought it was worth sharing an active highway being covered by falling rocks, soil, and whatever else was up on that hill. We've also linked the latest from the ESO, the European Southern Observatory. Good animation and article about star formation processes in Messier 11. In other news, it appears lunar volcanoes and rift valleys help shape our moon almost as much as meteor impacts, and the seasonal changes on Titan are cooling down the southern hemisphere astoundingly quickly, much more than expected. We already saw a new storm Simon. The rest of the tropics watch sees Fan Phone nearing Japan with a new storm just on its heels. There are two lows developing in the western Atlantic while up the coastline, and one is expected to impact eastern Canada. A large extratropical low has been stuck near Alaska for a while now, bringing a ton of moisture to the northwest. Keep that in mind as you eye the low in convergence in the central United States, slated to swing east tonight and make for a very rough weather evening on the eastern side, while that western moisture you've kept in mind might add snow as far south as the Oklahoma border. Eyes open there. Big low still dominates in the north, poor Iceland. Meanwhile, the flow up from Western Africa remains as well and charges eastward atop, what do you know, Croatia. Two Antarctic lows reaching back north with their convergences set to take on Western Australia and New Zealand in the next 12 to 24 hours. Folks, given that we've had about five special updates in the last 50 days, I was actually planning to take the end of September off from our monthly special videos, but some research by David Hyde inspired a short update to the humans and electromagnetism section, another introduction to an important topic for those interested in waves. If you mostly just listen to Fly on the Wall, you've likely missed that the Sun Series supplement is at the top of the evening news page, right next to Billy's playlists, all those experiments of his all in one place. We got shots of our star to close. We're heading to Louisville today. Can't wait to be back on Eastern Time. Check out observatoryproject.com for details. For the time being, it's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.35 a.m. Central. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.